What is going on guys, my name is Dominic and for you guys today I'm bringing you Clans war win number 192 here and yep it was against Lucky, they did not get so lucky in this war, <laughs> banter. And yeah so just one more thing about my live stream, I'm still debating when to do it because Friday evening I'm going to try my best to do it Friday evening but I don't know if it's going to be a convenient time for everyone. If it's not and I don't get too many views then I will try switch it up and move it to a different date but yeah, because uh, I have got swimming practice on Friday evening, so yeah, it's not going to be too comfortable having to either come back from swimming at 10 o'clock in the evening and then do it till 12, which I may not be allowed to, which kind of sucks, but nonetheless, let's get back to what you guys all came for, and mm -hmm, so this, yep, this again, this was a good war, we used all 50 out of 50 attacks, very active, we all were very happy with how we did this war. I'm very happy with the guys, we did very good, everyone did very good, I don't know why I keep saying good, but yeah, so why do I keep clicking mob, I don't like him. So what first attack, I think we may as well just show you, as you may have seen maybe in one of my previous videos, I did fail that go hog, which was absolutely ridiculous, but honestly, I've gotten over it, I'm happy now we've won the war, I'm happy I've gotten my 1 million loot from that war, and can just happily go into the next war, which is you'll see is quite a good one so nonetheless we have here Anthony here going in with a go la loon attack strategy on the base I did go hog which went perfectly well until the queen decided to go absolute brain mush on me or something and just go full retard but as you can see here he did come from this right point here the two golems still standing not anymore I'm very slow on this. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, two air defenses did get taken down by the troops here. So we have two lava hounds plus a clan castle lava hound coming in on the last two air defenses. We have got he has brought haste spells. I'm not good with haste spells at all. I do not know how to work them. He Anthony knows how to do it really well, and he has performed it very well with one lava hound still very good health and a good variety and chunk of balloons still standing and a mass of lava pups still there. So, 72%, complete overkill this raid, honestly, that Lava Hound is so close to going down into a Lava Pup, is still clinging on for dear life, of course, Anthony would want that Lava Pup to go down, so he has more Lava, huh? more Lava Pups to destroy the rest of the base, but nonetheless, he had plenty of time, and this was an absolutely, perfectly executed attack here, 99%, 100%, 3 star attack with a Go La Loon, and 2 haste spells, which was quite cool. So maybe we're just going to go a bit further down the leaderboards and check out Danny's attack here, number 24, on oh, no, number 24 action here. He's going in with a Go Hog attack strategy as well on a Town Hall 8, so never seen this happen before. Honestly, don't think it's the best idea. It's not like you need the Golem to destroy anything very dangerous, but unless he uses one Archer to take out the Clan Castle, uses one wizard to take it out right or to try take it out to the corner this base is well protected maybe this laboratory up to the left will be a uh, like free hit free area but nope he doesn't bother anymore puts down that one golem surrounded by lots of wizards he's put those mass wizards quickly so that that golem is still standing golem still standing while the clan castle troops go down and that is very good and now he can put down the one pekka and all, the, all the wizards down and now once maybe that got well at the moment he has no wizards on that cannon so it's just a golem on the cannon and now it's just a pekka acting as the golem for the wizards and just shielding them off while well, he's getting healed a bit by there but at the moment as you can see there are no defenses that can actually cause too much damage to the pe pekka once he puts all these hogs down on this archer tower there is nothing that can actually cause damage to the pekka except these mortars which are absolutely pointless but there as you can see he has Plenty of hog riders, about 18 hog riders plus 5 in a clan castle. He waited till the perfect moment to deploy his first heal spell there. So as you can see, he used one heal spell for his peckers and wizards, and only two heal spells left for his hog riders. But still, a big chunk of hog riders still standing. I do not know where all the giant bombs are, but as you can see, the hog riders did split up. He doesn't know when to put the heal spell, but now he can put it right there. And all those hogs are going to filter into that heal spell or at least touch it for a little bit so they can heal a bit. And 30 seconds left and this has been abs an absolutely solid rate at 69%. <laughs> and <laughs> retard Dominic. And yeah, so the Pekka is still standing of course because there was nothing to actually destroy him there. 81% and what a solid attack this was from Danny. So I'll just skip off. Didn't even need to use that poison spell. 
such a perfectly executed attack plenty of time remaining and um, what an attack Danny so let's just zoom up a bit to the higher end of the board at the moment and let's look at a town or 10 2 star um, we're gonna let Helga Master take the spotlight a bit at the moment attacking this maxed out Town Hall 10 base here except walls of course but not of course but except walls and he's coming in with a go go we strategy here so no peckers no witches just a mass golem and a chunk of wizards strategy here so I'm gonna put it on times two speed here just because it might be now nah, keep it on one time speed or something but How's it looking? He's only a Lava Hound in Clan Castle. He does put these two Trump spells down. So the Golems are going to attack from the left and right. Why do I keep scrolling that down? Left and right of your base. I think if he does get that other one down. If, yeah, he does put our last Golem down. And it is quite a slow start at the moment, not going to lie. But now the last two Golems come in. And the way and the reason he does this is that so these two golems and wizards can destroy these defenses off to the side so that the main three golems down the middle, once he uses his last jump spell, there you go, these golems will definitely come to the center, followed by the king and queen here. But at the moment, all you have is that one golem, no wizards protecting it, just a balloon and lava pup on that golem, golemite here, and the same on the other side. But now you can guarantee that these golems have gone to the center, brilliantly done there, and just to speed things up a little one beautifully executed free spell a bit too early in my opinion but it was a beautifully positioned one and as you can see the golems are taking all the strings of inferno towers the queen takes the tunnel down still ability standing like look at that still a full ability of course she is going to die off quite quickly but once her ability is used he can pull off about 56 57 percent even in the 60s maybe if he does use those cleanup troops but at the moment there's no need for these cleanup troops 58 percent he may as well try a bit get the last a few percentage points and he has done it into the 60s so what an attack there was from hogmaster and that was on their number one their number one with a max heroes was not able to oh, we have to watch this okay gonna have to watch this all right i'm gonna put it on times four speed here just a little troll attack here so he's attacking well he tried luring up from this side but mass golems go down one pecker goes down followed by heroes is an absolute spam of troops there one free spell and this is not what you want you do not want this kind of raid because i don't I, there's no even point watching it honestly i was stupid <laughs> okay so of course brilliant war finally we did not let that one defeat get in our heads so that was great and now we're up against another asian clan but looking at their number one only level 24 and level 31 queen here and only 300 war stars and then number two only level 18 and level 20 king and queen so this wall definitely looks like to be one that we should bag straight away so yep yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video sorry for not not a, like double upload i am trying to get those done i might bring some agario in my next video hopefully but that's it from me guys hope you enjoyed leave a like if you did and that's it from me guys and bye bye oh that was bad <laughs>